I do say this, Admiral Dunlap is one of those Cold War lawyers that one should never, I know you told me he comes across as really a gentle soul, one of the meanest sons of bitches to ever come down the pike. I am telling you that. I mean, I once was assigned to work for him and resigned from the Navy rather than go work for him. Admiral Thumb, everybody, have you, did he come here and speak? Did you come here and listen to him, you guys? Uh, it hasn't been released yet. Oh, well, he, he is such a son of a gun. And he, he was the head of the submarine force in the Pacific, and I got assigned to be the head of personnel for him. And I called up the head of the Navy, and I said, I quit. I don't want to go work for him. Eh, there was a couple of reasons. But I said, I quit. I don't want to go work for him. And I, there were a couple of reasons. Linda had just become a lawyer, and she was going to be a partner, and we we're living in Seattle, and she wanted to be there. So I, and then I worked that day, and I went home, and I get home, and there's this admiral's car sitting in my uh, driveway with this admiral's flag, and I go inside, and Thunman's sitting there. He has flown from Hawaii to Seattle, driven over to my house, and he's sitting there having coffee, tea with Linda. And I walk in, and Linda says, isn't this terrific? We're going to Hawaii to work for Admiral Thunman, and I'm flying back in his private plane so I can take the bar exam in Hawaii, and you're gonna come in a couple of weeks with the kids. And I said, well, we can't do that because I've resigned from the Navy. I didn't, I didn't say that, I just, well, what am I gonna say? He knew I'd resign. He just went all over and talked to Linda and took her away with him in his car to fly back to Hawaii. So what am I gonna do? I gotta follow her, right? I am telling you, that's not a straight guy. <laughs> so you should be really careful about taking anything he says with a grain of salt. <laughs>